factory location in Lexington. You've got gorgeous conditions. It is windy though, so you're noticing that. And that's what feels so uncomfortable out there combined with this Arctic blast. So a bunch of cold air has been diving southward from areas over Canada and sunshine. Cold and windy conditions will start to drop off by late tomorrow, but some snow and freezing rain for us greeting us by Sunday. Now the snowfall totals are really limited at this point on the current track. Track could change, but at this time we're not expecting this to be the same kind of system that we had earlier in December. I know a lot of folks are hoping to be able to make better snowmen or maybe get some sledding in. I don't think this is the storm for you. Right now, Monday, we could still expect to see slick travel and power outages. So different in the focus of this storm as we're now looking at that wintry mix. Could it accumulate some ice in parts of the foothills in western triad? All right, look at these temperatures right now. You're at 30 degrees in Mount Airy, 8 in Galax, 27 in Greensboro, and we're looking at winds that are sustained out of the west northwest, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour, still gusty, and highs today in the upper 30s, feeling about 10 degrees cooler than that. So bundling up a good idea, and more at the bus stop tomorrow morning. You'll need the earmuffs or the hats and the gloves again for any length of time. It's going to be in the teens as well, 5 to 5 below out in the mountains, with 17 there for a morning temperature. All right, timing of our developing winter system. Saturday afternoon into the evening hours. We expect a little bit of dry air to hang out with us and that could limit the onset of the storm. It also may limit our snowfall possibilities and the track of course depends on that. But wintry mix icy travel is possible through early Monday depends on those ice amounts in terms of how much in terms of the power outages and also staying tuned as we are really prepping for the storm. So like you did last time, maybe not prepping to make snowmen, but prepping to be without power as we see all of that moisture developing out of the Pacific Northwest. We have the Arctic blast. We've got the 30s and temperatures though at the surface also aloft may vary. We could warm in the mid levels and that is what will bring us the freezing rain. And meantime, we can see those temperatures close to the freezing mark into Sunday morning. And with that, remember our upper elevations start to cool more quickly. So even if you're seeing a surface temperature of 32 degrees and you think, oh, the roads are going to be fine. Well, our trees may not be and we may see some of those power lines really come down and crack under the weight of the ice accumulation, especially once we get over about a quarter of an inch and that tends to be the threshold. But if we get some stronger winds combined with a tenth of an inch of ice on those trees, we could also be seeing some small trees coming down, causing outages. So snow, freezing rain, and now a cold rain may mix in at times. That does lead to some slick travel for us. So I would still advise about traveling on Sunday, especially all across North Carolina, maybe tricky out through Raleigh. Although there, they may also luck out and get more rain. And even in Charlotte, it may not be snowy or dealing with as much cold and rain as we will. But certainly for parts of the triad, back into the mountains and the foothills, we do have a concern that some snow in the mountains, especially where they could see some two to three inches potentially can be coupled with the freezing rain. And on top of that, it becomes icy, and then that's where we get power outages, a bigger concern. And so where that ice sets up is really going to be the tricky part of our forecast. We still anticipate this area from parts of the foothills that may stretch into western parts of the triad to bring some significant totals or about a tenth of an inch in spots. You notice that Ashboro may see more rain as they could stay warmer. Burlington, you could see about a quarter of an inch. But again, the official forecast, we're still honing these totals for you. And the area of freezing rain and sleet is one we have to watch even the day of. This is a much more difficult forecast as the layers of the atmosphere change rapidly with these storms, especially as this low may track in and gain a little bit of speed. If that happens, we can see it out of here much more quickly, and that would really limit our freezing rain totals. One of our forecast models there suggesting it's not going to be as bad. Snowfall totals on one model here suggesting a higher totals up in the mountains, anywhere from three to four, and not even a quarter of an inch for folks in the triad. Others suggesting no snow for the triad, and you can see a little bit better as we go through your Monday morning into the mountains and the foothills. So still looking at that focus west and north. If you're in the foothills and the mountains, you do need to prepare for the possibility that roads are going to be impassable at times going into your late Sunday and early Monday morning. But beyond that right now, we wanted to let you know that this forecast is going to be developing and changing as we go into the next 24 hours. Chief Meteorologist Lenny Pope will be continuing to work out those totals with us. And we see that current track bringing mixed freezing rain and even rain, especially southeastern parts of the tried down through Charlotte and Raleigh may see more of that rain, but travel hazards will develop and some power outages are possible across parts of the tribe. Here's your seven day forecast. We look at 39 degrees on your Thursday, 42 Friday. 
And for your snow lovers, unfortunately, it may be the mountains to see the better snow opportunities while we have to worry about some concerns for icy travel. We'll have much more coming up.